Have you ever found yourself with a token string from Django REST Framework's token authentication, but you just can't figure out how to get the user object from it? It can be a bit tricky, but don't worry. Today, we're going to break it down step by step. I totally understand how frustrating it can be when you have the right token, but can't access the user information you need. You're not alone in this. Many developers face this challenge when working with Django REST Framework. Let's dive into the specific question at hand. One user asked, how do I get the user object from a token string in Django REST Framework? This is a common scenario, especially when you're building APIs that require user authentication. So let's explore how to tackle this. To understand the issue, we need to know that Django REST Framework uses token-based authentication to manage user sessions. When you have a token, it represents a user, but extracting the user object from that token requires a few steps. Let's break it down and stick around. At the end of this video, I'll share a quick tip that can make working with tokens even easier in your projects. To retrieve the user object from a token string in Django REST Framework, the user should first import the necessary modules. This includes the token model from the authentication module. Next, the user needs to extract the token string from the request. This can typically be done by accessing the request headers. After obtaining the token string, the user should query the token model to find the corresponding user. This is done by filtering the token objects. Finally, the user can now access the user object. This object contains all the information related to the authenticated user. Fun fact, did you know that token-based authentication is often preferred for APIs because it allows for stateless sessions? This means your server doesn't have to remember user sessions, making it more scalable. Now let's look at the answers provided by other users. An alternative approach to retrieving the user object from a token string involves directly accessing the token class. First, you can get the user ID associated with the token. Then, you can use that ID to fetch the complete user object, including any computed properties. Let's take a moment to review another user's answer. An alternative approach shared by another user involves using the default authorization token model in Django REST Framework. This model establishes a one-to-one -one relationship with the user model. To retrieve the user object associated with a specific token, you can query the token model using the token key. If the token exists, you can access the user directly. Let's take a moment to review another user's answer. An alternative approach suggested by another user is to simply use request.user since the token indicates an authenticated request, Django REST Framework provides access to request.auth and request.user after successful token authentication. That wraps up that answer. Let's move on to another one. An alternative approach shared by another user involves creating a custom token authentication view. This method allows you to return both the token and user information, such as the username and user ID, when obtaining the authentication token. Here's that quick tip I promised. Always validate your tokens on the server side to ensure they haven't expired or been tampered with. This will keep your application secure. And there you have it. You now know how to get the user object from a token string in Django REST Framework. Remember, handling tokens securely is crucial for your application's integrity. If you found this video helpful, please subscribe for more tips and tricks.